Hi guys, it's Candace. Welcome back. Okay, so I thought I would do just some quick and easy pockets. <clears throat> Excuse me. So these are um, Bible songs. But my thing is, is you know how they have this spiral thing? That's what I'm looking for whenever I get fine little um, notebooks. This one has got some, um, another little, some Bible sayings on the bottom. I know that's just what happened to be when I found them a long time ago on, on this note paper. <clears throat> so we're just going to, I know I haven't used my glue in a couple of days. All right. So we're going to take and we're going to glue the side down, down here. And this side, we're leaving these open. So, let's just go ahead and get this glued. Ooh. And I just kind of go in between the um, spiral parts just to make it a little more sturdier. And then we're going to put this back over it. I know I feel my finger in the side glue. <laughs> well, it's not going to hurt anything. So we're just going to glue that like that for a minute. Let that set. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to come back and do the same thing on here. Like I said, we want this to be our bottom. This is going to be our top. And let's see. Do you get to see two different things? Yes. Let me make sure there's anything in here. Mm -mm. Oh, I like that one. Well, we're just going to have to do that because I like the back one best. You know, it wouldn't hurt any anybody to get one of these little pages in a journal. You can always cover it up if you don't like a little bit of religious. But you know, sometimes these little quotes might just have something to do with what's going on in your life. And I like it. It's good paper. <laughs> but I do like the little the quotes too. Okay. <clears throat> so I got to give that a few minutes to dry and then I'm going to go sew around it. So let me just put my top on just a little bit because I'm going to have to come get it in a minute. All right. So I will be back in a minute and we'll get to finishing them. Okay, guys, I'm back. And then I decided I might as well just go ahead and put this one in here too while I'm at it. This is uh, a DCWV pack that I got from Joann's. Yep, got some Fergie here in my tape. Good grief, that dog, I'm telling you. Um, uh, anyway, um, in 2017, and yeah, the paper was a little bit thicker back then than what it is now. So I'm, I've taken these two pieces of paper because I'm hoping they're going to work in something else that I've got coming along. So now um, I'm going to cut an inch and a half off of the ends of them real quick. I just got to decide which one. I guess I'm going to do this one. And of course I've got stuff in front of my, oh, on my big old cutter. So let me just put that in my chair. So I can move it around so I can cut it. All right, so now let me cut an inch and a half off of the end. So let me see if, it, if I'm 11, I mean 12, whatever. I need to be at 10 and a half. I think that's what... I did on my last one. Okay. Hold on. All my stuff's falling down. Let me put all the back bins back. Alright. So. 
So, so now it's going to be 12 by um, 11 and a half, I believe. Let me see. 10 and a half. I'm bad. Okay. So now we're just going to make a simple, simple pocket that we're going to do on the side. We're just going to fold this over. I'm going to go ahead and score that nice. And then make sure I got my short side. I'm going to fold that over. All right, now we're just going to glue the top. And any of these can be no sew. You know, you don't have to sew. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom just to make me feel better. So we have that. Ouch. Okay. Put this aside. And then we're going to do the same on this one. We're gluing the tops. We're leaving the sides open. All right. I can feel a little gushing on that one. All right. So let me. I know. Let me go put you back on on hold. Hold, please. <coughs> And sew the tops and bottoms because we're leaving the sides open on this one. And I'll be right back and we'll have all four of them. I'll be right back. Oops. Okay, guys. I'm back. I got those sewed. So, oh, I know. Got some itches. Still have my chicker issue. Oh, it, they're getting there. I'm down to three. Oh, but anyway. So, let's just... So we have our side openings. So let me just go ahead and I know I should have did this before, but I always like to put a couple of drops of glue on my ends just so they don't unfray. I know, like I said, this is just <laughs> watching paint dry. No, actually, we're watching glue dry. So Oh my gosh. So yeah, I've been absent. We had a rough, rough Memorial weekend. John had a rough four days from his little feeding tube surgery thing that they put in, but he's a little better. I mean, he's, yeah, anyway. So. I just couldn't, just couldn't get down, you know, in the mood to come down to do and really do wish I was like, I don't know, five states over. Okay, so we're going to let that one dry while we put some of uh, some glue over here. It's actually been warm. Oh my gosh, like 89, 91. No, people. Too hot. Too hot. I mean, even the poor little dogs are like, because usually in the morning after they eat their breakfast, they, uh, you know, want to go outside. And they go out there and about 15, 20 minutes, Jake is always usually the one that, you know, is pulling on the screen door to let me know, let us in, let us in. Their tongues are all hanging out. And I'm like, y'all, it's not even summer yet. So, yep, you open the door, and you're like, okay, who wants it? You know, you have to say, who wants to come in? <laughs> They're all coming in with their little tongues dragging. Oh. Yep, <laughs> poor Mia's like, oh, I already missed the days when it was so nice. Oops, 
avalanche when it was so nice and cool I could just lay out there and oh, get some sun some sunshine nope oh you can get some sunshine but golly oh and yep unfortunately I'm gonna have to suck it up and go back out there and cut this grass with the push mower it means me and my bugs are gonna, gonna get them again I hate I hate <laughs> I hate grass. I hate having to take care of it. Oh, I wonder how much AstroTurf cost. I'm all for it. It means I gotta get up at like, shoot, crack of dawn. Get out there, do it before it gets too stinking hot. All right, and then we're gonna put a little on here. Like I said, I just like my my sewing not to come undone, and I know it takes a little longer, but like I said, I obviously don't. Speed journal. I don't speed anything anymore. Good grief. I'm like the little snail or the little hare. What was that the tortoise and the hare? Oh, Lord. Okay. So, let's mush them out and the glue down. Okay. Yuck. Now on this one, well, I didn't do, get rid of my glue too good on my fingers. Hold on, let me let me do some rollies. All right, that's good enough. All right. <laughs> Oops. So we want this on the bottom. Let me make sure. Okay. So we're going to fold it like that and when we put it in our journal, we're going to have a, a pocket here and a pocket there. So I'm going to go ahead and I can't remember. Oh, I tried my two inch one last time. This one's way too big. That's for my next one. Where's my two inch? Now my two inch in this Bible page, even though it's good good paper, it did not care for it. So I had to put a piece of scrap paper behind it to give it a little extra oomph. So that's what I'm doing here. Just putting some extra paper behind it. I mean, like I said, it's not thin, but my two inch just, you know... It's a fickle one anyway. So we have our little thumb hole there. And then we're going to come around here. And. Put a thumb hole there. Sorry if I'm out of frame. There. And a thumb hole there. And then let's just ink around it so you can see. Because, you know, I'm an inker, so what's the point? I'm not going to not ink it. So we'll just ink it to give it a little more personality. And then I kind of go over those. So we'll have a little inking on the other side. Okay. 
Don't forget, I've got to come back and ink the inside too. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, okay, now that. Nope. Got to ink. And then we'll, we'll decorate this later. I mean, I'm going to run my yarn through it. But I don't know what I want to put on the outside yet. So we'll use, we're going to do this yarn, I think. You know, I really don't know how those people find their end to their yarn and just pull it through the middle and just have a good old time. Nope. I always make a big old mess. Okay, so now... Oh, I don't have it over here. I thought I had one over here. Hold on, let me get my little needle thing. Oh, little girl has knocked my jar over. Yes, she was over here sniffing. Like, what you got new? Nothing. Same old, same old. <laughs> Stuff everywhere, woman. Stuff everywhere. Okay, oops. So if you don't want to do your... um. String your, um, whatever that is, your yarn and, or, or whatever. And this is when I have some of that wire, wide wire edged um, ribbon. And you pull the wire out because you don't want it. It makes perfect needles. So, you know, don't throw it away. Put it in your little needle thing. And save it for... These days, it makes for sewing large, large hole things or thick ribbon and stuff it, really easy. Bread ties do the same thing, but I always seem to have more. Um, wire ribbon than I do bread ties. We just don't eat that much bread. our little Let me just put it back straight and then when we put it in our book these will be hanging down so you know depending on how um, long you want your dangles you know if you want to tie something onto them I'm just gonna snip it off there and leave them a little long and Whew. I always like to put just a little bit of glue on the end to just seal them. I know. Me and my glues. Me and my glues. So that's that one. And like I said, it'll go inside your page and there'll be a top tuck, a top loading pocket. So that's that one. And now we have... Hello, another avalanche. Now we have this one. Oh, we still need to ink him. So let's ink him. We'll lightly ink him. And I'm hoping I don't need anything behind it because, you know, it, it is thicker paper. I do want on I kind of go on this side of it just a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna go on this side of it just a little bit. Whew. Okay. Make sure I'm in 
frame instead of working down where I'm sitting. All right. Now, let's see if we can get in here and... You know, I sure hate that I'm going to have to poke a hole, a little hole around my anchor, but... Wheel? I might just have to. Nope. It's my punch. It is not doing single stinking pages. I'm telling you. There's a there's only a handful of things that I've dis been disappointed when I've bought them. This is one of them. It has never worked properly. It just and I really do believe it's a left-handed something to do with the angle. I mean, I have to beat it most of the time just to get it to do. Let's see if I can do this way. And see, it's something to do with, I swear to you, it's something to do with the pressure on it. I don't know. But it drives me bananas. All right. So there's that one. I know that one's a little not so pretty. Oh, yeah, I know. It's going to bother me. So, let me see if I can put my thing back in here. And give it the right hand punch. See, you see how that it, it's a it's a right-handed trigger grabbing something. I don't know. And you think I would remember it? Just do it that way the first time, but no, I don't. I just complain. Anyway, okay. So All right, so there's that. Whoop, that's not where that goes. And then we're going to use this one. See? I don't even know. And I guess that's why, you know, when you used to see back in the day, people winding their, their yarn into a ball because they got tired of playing this game. <laughs> I fully understand. Because oh, it does drive me a little bit crazy. I know. Sorry, I'm making y'all watch this, but I'm really struggling for videos right now. So anyway, I'm trying to work my way back, back into, but I just wanted to show these quick and easy little pockets. And if you don't have, um, oh shoot, let's try not, we can't go that far. And if you don't have any papers that have these little holes, if you've got, um, you know, a little border punch that has holes that you can use to put on there and then run your um, yarn through there or ribbon or seam binding, then just do that or take your ruler and measure every half inch and, and then poke a hole with your, um, hole punch. I mean there's all kinds of all kinds of ways to make holes in the bottom of your paper if you're if you don't have any. I say you could let give it to your dog to see if they can put some holes in there for you, but I wouldn't guarantee that it would come back usable. And then I just like to, you know, give the little a little give down there and then we'll cut that one off there too and we'll just put a little bit of glue just to hold it and if you don't want to put a little glue here on the end then sometimes I just go and like put a little glue in the middle of my of here that holds it you know holds it there too 
All right. So that's that one. Let me put my glue back on. All right. And then when we put this one in, we'll have it's the same thing here. This is my page, and it'll be wrapped around. You have a top top loading pocket here and you can depending on how we decorate um, you have journal spot journal spot there maybe and then you know on your other page you'll have another top folding pocket all right so that's that one <laughs> I know I'm trying to be motive I'm really am trying hard to be motivated I'm trying to be pepper chipper <sighs> trying hard okay so this is oops hello so this is the one that we did um, before. You know, I already had already went ahead and glued them. Now I'm just gonna fold them in half, and these are just gonna be quick and easy side tuck pockets that we're gonna put inside of our journal. Okay, but I am gonna take. Well, you know, I'm gonna measure. Um, to do do. And I am going to make my pocket, my hole straight through. So that way when you put, let's see, what do I have? Well, this, I don't even know if this fits in here. When you, no, it's not going to fit. But we're going to have to make cards, journal cards, but that way they'll be flush in there and you can just you know, pull it out with that. I know my hole might be too big, but... Well, go big or go home, huh? <laughs> so let's just ink around it just to kind of bring it out. But this is going to be really cute inside a journal. I think I need to ink my my pads. Taking too much too much strength to get the ink <coughs> excuse me to come off of it all right and then this is going to be pretty depending on what we're going to put on it oh, and then on the next video I'll have my journal strung together maybe I'll string Maybe I'll try to put these three together. That way you can just kind of see. And in case I decide, oh, I'm bored. I want to go, I want to work on another one. I'll have one ready. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, just, you know, preparing myself in case I, see, I have some issues. No comment. No comment. <sighs> Waiting for next week. I know. Yeah, and then I noticed that something I had ordered from Etsy from across the pond it was a large ticket item thing because I got something else that I had ordered and I'm like, well, that's odd, you know, I'm surprised I didn't get this other, um, these other things that I ordered from there. So I go to look on my little thing. Well, it claims it was delivered on May 16th, 17th or something like that. I'm like, oh, uh-uh. So now oh, I got to work myself up this afternoon to send a note to that poor person and tell them, you need to please ask the post office where the heck this was delivered to and if they by chance got somebody to sign for it because it was over $125. So I'm a little disappointed in that and I'm I'm upset with the situation with the post office. So because somebody scanned that bad boy barcode and uh they sure didn't scan it and put it in my dang um, mailbox or my uh big old red bin that we have down there for mail and packages. So, and I only got one notice saying that there was a package that I needed to go sign for. And I did that, I think, last week or the week before. Shoot, I don't remember anymore. We were, I think, last week we were gone most. Yeah, I don't know. 
So, all right, so there's this one, and that's going to go inside on a page. Let me see if I have, I might have buried it. Oh, my gosh. There it is. It wasn't quite so buried, but it's still buried. That's because this bin is not where it belongs. So, I'll give a little sneak peek of what I'm getting ready to sew in. I know, I needed something cheerful. So, I, I'm doing a little fairy thing. So, let's see. I have this in here somewhere. There's that one who's in here. And then, somewhere. There he is. And then there's this side loading one. So, I got to string this together and put it in its little journal cover so we can decorate it and then let me see if I can find I'll, I'll just show you this one somewhere oh I know it's underneath some junk but this isn't all I gotta put the rest of the papers I got them I gotta put them in there so this one we're gonna be doing with something from the junk journal studio but I went ahead and did the cover this is a belly band in here, and uh, just because, yeah, I needed some alone time crafting, so I crafted and, and made some stuff. So that's what we're going to be playing with, with our little um, pockets, with our little, using up some 12 by 12s to make some side tuck pockets, and then using up some little journal pages to get um top loading pockets and there you go all right guys i hope you enjoyed this um thanks for watching thanks for sharing some of your time with me um i will get back on on the ball and i will see y'all in the next video lots of um kisses lots of love and um i know i'm behind on um answering any kind of comments and stuff on the thing but i'm gonna get back in in gear this week okay so i will see y'all in the next video bye guys